Hey guys, my name is Fox and Fanny. If I could remember myself about time to put you and I together back in Assassin's Creed 2, I thought I'd pick up some stuff while I was here. Captain's sword is the best right now, and of course the Sinkeleleleleda is the best. I think that's there's not a whole lot of sec uh, small weapons, and that's like one of the best ones. So. Then I'd get a die, which I I realized that I just spent most. I'm I went from twelve thousand to three thousand, and now pointing crimson. I have more coming in soon. Don't be a straniero. Straniero. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. There we go. We're decked out, baby. No armor, but I think I'll be okay for armor for now. So never mind about that, but what I wanted to do is go over and do the Assassin Tomb mission before we get back into the story right away. Oh, there it is. Again, kind of stands out. Oh, don't worry, nobody will find it. Spooky. Who needs to buy armor? We can, you can find relics to, so you can um, get some armor. Here we go. Ooh, it's this one. I remember this just because this building is so freaking gigantic. Di Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. Ancient relics, you say? <laughs> He's peeking out. Yeah, this is a good one. I spot my way. Okay, I get it, game. Here we go. Parkour at its finest. Okay, well. Seriously, Mike. When was there anything cool to climb in the first game? Ooh. Okay. Whoops. Look at this. This is sweet. I'm again, I'm... Oh, whoops. God damn it. Same. Recording this very late at night. Which I guess I have to get used to because I'm doing my Halloween special. I want to record that at night with a face cam. Hopefully that turns out to be good. And there we go. Checkpoint. Ben, That's what, now I have a way back up in case I fall. That's what I said. Ye olde checkpoint. Okay. Uh, looks like I can get up from over here. Like the climbing and parkour and stuff is probably one of my... Well, it's a main part of the game. It's might be my favorite part of Assassin's Creed. Just climbing all these awesome structures. And playing the first game made me never want to fucking climb anything ever again, but this game. So much cooler. I know it's a bit of a. Mm, very nitpicky. Is that like, uh, this all just looks so incredibly staged, like, you know, there's, what is the reason for all this besides for an assassin to climb around on it? That's what people seem to nitpick about Assassin's Creed sometimes, and it's like, yeah, I get it, but it's a video game, come on. Nice. The wind blew that one down. <laughs> a 
Look at that. Making quite a bit of progress. Jump over here. This is like just like every kid's dream to just like climb all over shit, you know? I think that's why it appeals to people, maybe. Parkour, you know? That's why there's man children out there going around doing parkour, which is a lot. <laughs> much more dumb than how it looks in this game. Just vaulting over freaking bullshit. Sadly, real life is not as cool as video games. I'm sorry I have to break it to y'all. Dude, I am... This is... I'm doing pretty well with climbing. Like, I think... I've just forgotten how to climb on Assassin's Creed, but I'm learning. Checkpoint. In case I die, which I guess if I fell from this side, I'd probably die. Oh no! I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> like, how does that even happen? I was totally facing the right way, I swear. Okay, try this again. It's better. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so close. Look. I'm so near the top. Whoops. It's, whoa, okay. A little too far. <laughs> Watch this. Bush. Whoa. Whoops. A little too far. Just hop. Hop, little let's go. There we go. God, that's like at an angle. That's got to be terrifying. I guess not for Ezio. Ezio's too cool for the schools. Pull yourself up. Again, incredible upper body strength. Oh, gosh. Leap of faith! Made it. I had faith. What about you? Here we go. It's lady. <laughs> Time to rape my rewards. You get so little money from chests in this game. I guess they add up, but come on. Give a brother a hand. Here we go. Dogs number two. A third of the way there. Again, where did he put that? We'll never know. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. There we go. That's a better reward. Oh! Did not mean to do that. <laughs> at all. Not my intention. <laughs> oh, jeez. We are just decked out, ready for this mission. We got the Florentine Red. Oh, hey, Lorenzo, buddy boy. Oh, and it's daytime now. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found Arno. myself drifting down <laughs> and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my There's mother. There's a lot of weeping. piss in those waters. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to try apologize a little harder. for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves yeah, I'm not going to well. arrest they. him. Jacopo yeah, was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. 
Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviatti, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. These Bene. are the men I, I will go and kill. see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco oh, di codex. Bagnone, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Are you going to be my new then dad? Consider it a gift. <laughs> que el Signore ci protegga. Indeed. Sir. Strange danger, am I right? Pazzi conspirators, look at those assholes. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Ugh. Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi Disgusting. bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. I'm Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined like the Templars dude. to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. One step closer to the Pope. If you don't know, the Pope is my arch nemesis in this game, which is weird to say the least. There was a time where I loved the Pope. I was the Pope. But now, I must kill the Pope. Eventually. That's a ways away. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, hmm. I've been recording a long time, but I know I'm going to have to cut out a lot. But, uh, I think I'll end it. I'm sick and wounded. Heal me, baby. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Assassin's Creed 2 progressing along quite nicely. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys soon for more. Bye-bye. <laughs>